All right, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to calibrate and also just walk through our A15 series with a heart communicator. Uh, so our setup here, we have the A15 um, PT hooked up to a, a hand pump pressure source. Then that's being powered by a 24 volt power supply and then also connected to a multimeter. And then we also have the heart 475 field communicator um, hooked up as well. Also, before you get started and hook up to the field communicator, you're going to make sure you want to download the SORDD. We'll provide a link to that in the description of this video. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to, after you have all the wires hooked up um, in accordance to what our wiring diagrams in our GI, you're going to click on heart here, wait for it to load, and then it's going to pop up 815 right there. You're going to click the right button arrow to move to the next screen and pick that. And then you'll see all these process variables fill in and come into play here. So this first initial screen is showing you basically your primary, secondary variable, and tertiary variable, um, while also giving you um, your upper range, lower range limits, as well as the loop current currently at the at the at this pressure so first thing I'm going to show you is we're going to go into device setup here uh, and there's a multiple number of things that you can do um, but the first thing I'm going to show you is how to set the zero and spin manually so you're going to go to here number five basic setup and then you're going to come down to range values and here you can set the primary on um, the primary variable upper range value and as well as a lower range value. So we'll take this primary variable upper range value, click the right button, and then here we can enter whatever we, we would like. So if we want to rearrange this to have the high side be 250 PSI, we're just going to hit 250 enter, and then you also have to make sure to hit the send button to actually apply that value. Now you've rearranged the transmitter to 0 to 250 PSI and then the same process for the lower range limit. So if you want to actually calibrate the unit, you're gonna come back to the main menu and go to Diagnostic Services, and then now you're gonna go down to Calibration. To calibrate it, you can do a zero trim, hit OK, and then it asks you to apply zero input pressure. So what we're going to do here is we'll apply zero pressure, which is is what it is now. We're going to hit OK. And you can see it's already trimmed down the zero to a more accurate uh, zero pressure reading. Another thing that you can, a cool thing that the A15 offers is history data. So if you go into number four diagnostic service, you can go down here to number four unit history. And I'll tell you a variety of different things um, about this unit, about the history, and all this stuff. That like uh, units of time, so how many seconds this unit's been powered on, as well as how many times it's actually seen um, a power up cycle, the lowest pressure it thinks it's ever seen, the highest pressure, low and high temperature, and then the highest voltage, and and so on. So cool things that you can do with there. So one of the other things that the A15PT and A15DT offer is the uh, numerous amount of options for switching features. Um, and those can all be calibrated and, and those options can be set with a heart communicator. So to do that, you go to six detailed setup, click the right arrow, and then you come down to number eight, switch output configuration. Um, here you can set the settings, where the set points are at, which type of mode you'd like to use. So currently we're in window normally opened, or window normally closed, I mean, and then you can see here all the nine different ways you can configure the switch output. And to select one, you just say you want to select pulse width, um, modulation, pulse low, just hit enter, and then there you go. And then you can enter all your values and parameters here on that main screen. All right, there's many other things that you can do with the heart communicator. But that covers the basics and most of the functions that you'll probably be using. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our inside sales department as well as visit our website. Thanks for watching and have a good day.